for reals? Joker.
Hey! Shadows? Show me your true form! I'll reveal your true form! Reveal your true form. your true form. Oh, maybe you can use your grappling hook to get around here. I can feel it. your true form.
a strong one. Show me your true form. I'll reveal your true form. We can get past here. I'll leave it up to you whether or not to use the grappling hook. I can feel it. Look, a treasure chest. Why don't we crack it open? Oh! Oh! So, you're Sumire Yoshizawa, huh? I'm Dr. Maruki. I'll be your counselor. First of all, thank you for coming to see me. Yes. Thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to discuss. I only came here today because my parents wanted me to. That's fine. So, do you want to just chat until our time's up then? Chat, huh? Of course. It's not really possible for us to talk about things you don't want to discuss anyway. I've also got some sweets and some salty snacks there. Feel free to have at them. Oh yes, thank you so much. So, let's start with, uh, ah, how about, what'd you eat for lunch yesterday? Mm. I'll go first. The other day, a friend of mine gave me a ton of apples. I've grown tired of just eating them by themselves. Yesterday, I thought, why not try using them as a meal ingredient? So, I tried making an apple dish for lunch, but that didn't turn out too hot. What do you think I ended up making? I have no clue. Shrimp and chili sauce. With apples. You know how sweet and sour pork can have pineapple in it? I was going for that, but... Sounds like it didn't work for you. Apples do make for good ingredients, though. If you grate them, you can make a surprisingly versatile sauce. I use it in plenty of my food. It's pretty nutritious and good for digestion. You cook, Yoshizawa-san? I'm impressed that you care so much about nutrition. You must be really on top of things. <sighs> I'm just active, that's all. I'm a gymnast. My coach has told me more than once to be conscious of everything I eat. I see. How's practice going for you? Has it been rough lately? It has been rough. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle, but it's not going well. I don't even know what I want to do anymore. Sorry to hear it. Do you enjoy gymnastics? I'm not even sure of that. My older sister and I made a promise. We'd both compete and win the biggest gymnastics awards in the world, but she... Pass away. 
She protected me from a car. I stole Kasumi's dream away from her. I can't do it anymore. I can't just go on like this. If Kasumi were here instead, I know she'd make her dream come true. Only Kasumi could have done it. No matter how long I try to compete, it's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize in here. If there's something you need to get off your chest, please do so. Sometimes, I can't help but think things would have been better if I were Kasumi Yoshizawa. After all, just wishing to make her dream come true does nothing for her in reality. Making dreams come true, huh? Well, I don't think your train of thought is strange at all, Yoshizawa-san. In fact, wanting to become somebody else isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing. You... you think so? Everyone is capable of changing themselves. Your imagination's your only limit. That's why, if you aspire to be more like another person, it's actually possible. Thought exercises like, would that person do this? Or realizations like, that person wouldn't do that. These sorts of thoughts can lead people to change themselves in ways that more closely mirror the target person. <sighs> Can you still imagine what your sister was like? Yes. If your sister were in your shoes, what do you think she'd do? Well... She wouldn't cry. If she had the time to do that, she'd just practice more instead. Dr. Maruki, I... I want to become Kasumi. I know. And I'm sure you can too. Just believe in yourself. How about it? Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I feel like a weight's been lifted off of me. You're amazing, Doctor. <laughs> it's no big deal. Still, it seems like my counseling approach does some good after all. I've been reborn all over again. Really? I'm very glad to hear it. Feel free to drop by again sometime, should anything come up. We can even just have a chat, like today. Thank you. Then we could pick up where we left off talking about... Hmm. Something the matter? Now that I think about it, I'm not any good at cooking. I don't know why I said those things earlier. My younger sister's the one who was really great at it. Hmm. <laughs> That's right, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing. I'm so glad I was able to help you. Good luck with your training. Right. I'll do my best. For Sumire's sake and mine. Was that...? Yes, it was a counseling session I had with Dr. Maruki. It was just after Kasumi... After my sister passed away, from that moment on, I lived my life really believing I was Kasumi. It was all due to the rewriting of your cognition. His actualization, as we've started calling it. Okay, but I've been wondering something. So, it was only Sumire who believed that she was Kasumi, right? I assumed someone in your family or one of your friends would have noticed you going by the wrong name right away. Well... I can certainly remember being called Kasumi by everyone else, too. It might be more accurate to say you misheard or misunderstood the name you were being called. Like everyone kept calling you Sumire, but your cognition made you hear it as Kasumi. So that's why nobody thought it was weird, including her folks and herself. Damn. This must be part of the whole salvation nonsense Maruki's trying to pull over on us. That memory may have been kept here in video form because he truly does wish for Violet to be happy with life. I admit, I really did feel saved in that moment when I became Kasumi. But at the same time, I ran from my life as Sumire. I'm genuinely grateful for what Dr. Maruki did for me, but I'm done running. Let's get going.
Um, well... Take a rest, right? Don't worry, I won't fall asleep. Well, <sighs> nice. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's go. <sighs> Oh. 